All right, welcome back to what up here? Another plane explain. <laughs> it's been a minute, but uh, I'm gonna try and record one. I can explain. I guess here you can flat. I know you're supposed to through bit a lot for a smaller size. I guess calling becomes like less of an incentive when the small blind flats here. But with the recreational, I, I don't know. With this hand, I'm okay with it. Technically, you could also think on a 74. We'll call here. You can play a. I don't think this is high enough to play four bets. Um, you could do it. Maybe I could do it for the video, but I'm not sure. And you don't want to make it. I know sixes is like probably one of the most preferred pairs, but yeah. Here, check, check, check. I am not gonna take this. Hand. I mean, it actually makes some sense, but I think I've given off some timing tells in this hand, so I'd rather not bluff when I'm not as on top of things like that. Here, I think with the club, we want to continue the most. On a 17, I'm still gonna call. Don't like know how much I like my put it sizing. I'm sure it's a thing. Prefer half board on a lot of the jack eye boards, but yeah, size down here when this guy is whatever. Here, blind versus blind. You could play half pot here as well. I don't think this hand ever needs to check. So I'm gonna bet it. He checks here. Bingo. So he doesn't have queens and obvious queens and suited. You shouldn't have tens. Here, I think, I guess we'll just be some. Uh, could also check. I guess we can check. I'll try it. I don't know. Kind of lags when I do this. I think here we could do both. I'm going to shove here first. I'm going to bet half out here. And then here I'm going to think. I don't necessarily mind check. Because I think he bets an ace on the river. And I don't think he pays me with anything worse. I'm not going to play heads up here. If he's trapping with like a river jacks, fair enough. Um, here you can mix both. I think on a 73, I'm going to play bet at the. I play them in quick sizing here. In position here, you can do a lot of things. Oh, he called me here with the seven. Sick. Uh, sorry if my recording feels like this guy's typing. Okay. I'm trying to think of the sizing here. I've been playing a lot of 10% in position, so you know what? Just for the sake of this video, let's do it. It's okay in theory. I don't know if it's exactly a thing on this board, but it's okay. There's a lot of hands that don't really... Out of position, you don't really ever play 10% in pos I mean, in position, you don't really ever play 10% out of position. Before, but pots, the SPR is, like, pretty low. And there's a lot of hands, like, the hardest trick to play out of position is probably the flop, so... Yeah, so the check ended up making me all the money. So far, good start. Jesus Christ. I, sw I, pr I swear it's my first time trying since I haven't been able to record, which I haven't gone into. Obviously, this hands will continue here. We can actually play a shove. I don't mind the shove. The king isn't as good as the ace, though. With the ace, I would just not mind the rip, to be honest. But also, am I really doing? You really need to play shoves here? I'll flat it. Now, if he shoves, nice hand. In theory, you could, but I think the king is actually the king's okay. Block aces. I don't know, maybe you just don't want a king though, the king. Uh, the, on the turn, the king's bad. The king's better on the flop because you have the improved equity. In the sense that if you get an inverse tens, you have the extra added equity. Or even aces. Oof. I mean, he never has a six here. I kind of just priced in, no? Such a weird spot. It's like, okay, size by him. So we have 13%. I just can't imagine this is a folded theory. I just can't imagine. The thing is, do I want a folded reality? Okay, good luck us. I I feel like he's only ripping aces, so I'm kind of just... Uh, <laughs> I can't, I'm not folding with the price, like, he has the same hand a good amount. The thing is, it's like... How do I say this? I just don't think he's going to bluff this card, ever. I mean, I don't think he also checks better, so... We'll go for value. View. 
he doesn't ever have king queen of spades it's so weird i mean i'm never i'm never not i'm never checking this back especially when he checks he's basically giving up when he checks if he had a flush he'd shove if he had aces he's shoving right <sighs> he might not put me on king queen he might be worried about kings with aces here that'd be funny i don't think you tank though you just call aces right let's be real i could have like ace king of spades i could have king queen of spades Jack of spades. I mean, I'm not jamming that, but he would jam for Val. I don't know. I'm so weird about this. Okay, so we've had two games break, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, Let me see what I can do here. Let me open up Poker Stars on my other monitor, maybe. Or maybe I'll just keep it four for a bit and hunt the lobbies on my other. Because I'm going to wait. I'm, I'm on the wait list for the other one. He finds the full. I imagine he had queens and he was just thinking about it. Okay, um... Here with nines. And I'll also... Okay, I'll just play the hands first. Jesus Christ. Maybe maybe before good, I can talk. Because it's been a minute for me making videos. I've been elsewhere on a laptop playing a lot of the time. On a one here. I'm just going to let the nines go. I don't know. That's close. But I, I choose to be on the nitty side when I don't know. If you don't know the answer to something, it's okay to be a little nitty. And uh, anyway, I'm a little rusty today. <laughs> so I was, this is like basically my first session. Um, I've been just playing on a laptop mainly. I've tried recording on it, it was very laggy. On a 14, I would lead, but you don't want to fall in the trap where you're just leading pure. This guy's pretty solid, so. On a nine again, eh? This hand just has to bet though. Eh, it's okay. I don't mind the over bet here. Like, I think you're just supposed to be very aggressive. Uh, I, like even in reality, I'm supposed to be a little balanced. I'll just be a little unbalanced in that spot. I don't care. I like building the ball with queen ten two, and then the diamond blocker is just solid too. Um. Anyway, what was I talking about? I was talking about something. Um. Yeah, I haven't been able to play. I haven't been able to record. I'm planning on uploading as much as I can. The YouTube is something I really enjoy, and I'm just getting back into playing more solid and good. Also, I went on a bit of a downswing. I'm out of it now. I've been on it for a while, but I was thinking like. Maybe I'm revealing too much of my YouTube videos about certain individual players, and I think I want to keep it more, a little more theoretical. Like, I'll still help with the like, exploit stuff, but um, in the sense of general stuff, but I don't know. I just think the, a lot of things I was getting away with before, just I stopped getting away with as much. It, it could have been varied, in the sense, you never know, but I don't know. But anyway, uh, be sure to comment, and you can ask me any question, of course I'll answer, and uh, sorry for the hiatus, but, you know, yeah. I'm planning on playing a lot this uh, upcoming year. Going away for Christmas, but maybe I'll like pre-record videos or something. Maybe maybe I'll try and be on, on a good grind. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if no one expects me to, but hey. So reg battling three-handed here. I'm gonna open up stars because this game might break and I don't want to. Back over this video. A lot of weird hands. I feel like I know a lot of sports in poker, and then I turn on a video, and then I'm just lost for words. On a 52, this hand mixes three bets. I think it's a full. 52 is close. I'm just going to toss it. I don't know. It would be a nit. I know queen eight mixes, but there's some that mix. There's some that the threat. I know queen seven. Actually, queen seven might be. See, I'm lost. When I, when I start recording the video, I start second guessing everything. Because this guy posts. Good four. It's kind of nicely posted because now if someone wants to three about me, they'll probably take the same range. Let's do it bigger like this. Okay, here you mix calls. I don't know if 31's low enough. I don't necessarily mind it. And I think in the spot, just the dynamic of the hand. Do I want a four bit to like 30? I mean, probably. I think queens could be close, but. I block East King, which is a large part of the calling range. And any pairs jamming anyway. Hopefully twice. I'm a bit of a twice connoisseur. Looks like it's once. So. Okay. I've been owning this. Oh, Ace. Let's hit the B. Uh. Always nice to win the first. Oh my god, we had three aces across all of it. If we had just flipped it. Okay, we hit the Babby jackpot. Okay, here. The issue with this hand, I feel like I've given up the timing till. But. Bet check bad, bet 75. I mean, technically in three, I don't mind calling, but I'm out of it this hand. Let me talk about this. There's too much going on. I'm so not, I, I used to be better at this. <laughs> I mean, I'm running so good, so I can just post a video. Yeah, it always. it's always like this, guys. 
Okay, so B33. I don't know how much I like these random B30. People over overplay these B B30 from the small blind. I think it's like not that good. I don't know. It's just really easy to play against. It's like so unbelievably easy to play against, and it's. I don't know, I think there's just something about picking a small slicing on the flop and getting rid of your opponent's air that like feels good for people, but I don't think it makes that much money, really. Because so you play big bad and they fold over full turns, and then they're they're paying more on the flop. Like, I don't know. It's like... Um, I think in theory this is a pure fold. I think people are also tight, really tight for the big blind, so I'm just going to toss it. It feels weird when they... I get a little baited sometimes. I think I, I play overly... I call a little too much when they size down. Like, 12.3 there is, like, what I would play. But when they play 10, I'm, I, I'm not very good at it. I gotta get better at that. I gotta study that more. I adjust the ranges too much in my head. And I gotta look at, like, actually what the correct... I'm never gonna have it perfect, but get a better grasp. This guy uh, just doesn't 3-bet. Apparently it's 8. He's 3-bet so far this session, but he really doesn't. I'll play half pot. I think you can size up more in this type of spot. I don't mind check back either. I think the diamond's okay though. Honestly, don't mind betting again here. Oh, <laughs> what a spot, eh? Jesus. It's probably close. In theory, you probably value, but it's, river. it's probably close. I mean, is he calling? I mean, I guess he has like sixes with the clubs. It'd be easier to range him, but I, there's no way for me to explain it to you guys that he really just doesn't three bet anything. Um, okay. Alright, anyway. I'm going to try and make sure this video is solid and not fumble it by playing like a dumbass. Let's get a poker stars table going. And then make sure to let me hide the HUD. I'll be a good player or a good. Alright, here. You can mix a lot of things in. On a 15, which is the first number. So I think I like to split here. I think on the Kick Queen Rainbow, it's just. I don't know. Sometimes I get heads up confused. But on the King Queen Rainbow, I think you want to be playing a smaller size a little more often than on the Flesh Draw version. It's not an ace high board. Here you could probably polarize and then you could put big. I think my hand's good enough to vote for value. He has ace ten and then he's like king ten, king jack. He never has ace king queen or king queen, right? Like he has ace five maybe, but he never has ace queen or ace king. The one I'm kind of starting to sell myself on over bet. I'm gonna be honest. I don't see the point in playing b seventy five here. Like why size down? Like it looks kind of weird, but you gotta remember it's a bottom versus big one spot, and he's three betting ace queen and ace king pure. And King Queen raises flop a good amount, Jack Ten raises flop a good amount, so that's like cutting a bit. And even then, like the ranges are so wide, like the like I just have so many better hands than him. Is this a Grim? Let me check. I just played in the big blind, so no. I don't know. It's kind of weird to tank and then bet because it looks like you're trolling, but sometimes it like builds people's <laughs> perception of. There is something about tanking where it's I'm just gonna toss this here. I don't know. This guy seems pretty nittier. I don't think it's correct necessarily, but I'm not here to teach you guys head up heads up. Sorry if my ADHD is all over the place here, but <laughs> some people want a video, you're gonna get a video. Alright, here are two spades. This guy is um, an, a recreational. I guess I'm talking about this stuff. <laughs> I, I think that's okay, recreational. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to check back and see and evaluate. Think, oh, just the general tip versus recreational is A, don't worry about being balanced. It's really overrated. B, just play your You can just play your hands very face up. It's. I mean, there, there's some EV in being trickier. But your middling hands, you can just play safer, and your better hands, you can just play aggressively. It's not, you're not like, oh, does he have, like, yeah. I would say that that, that that's, like, very general. There's certain nodes where, like, you could advise something else, but in general, that's going to do the best for you. This size is a little smaller, but I think it's a board where it actually could make sense for him to have a smaller size that with a hand that beats us, so I am going to fold it. Normally, I would say, like, any size below 75 versus a fish is just usually very weak and you can either a just bluff it very aggressively this guy's not bluffing here so i have to think to myself like 
He has a screen pure. He wouldn't three bet it. But are we pricing to bingo him? And also, if we bingo him, do we get paid 100% of the time? This is a range check here for me. I guess we'll call. See? That's talent. Okay, here when we check. We could check again. I don't mind it. With the diamond. Sure. Kind of sucks. And I think here we go for a block bets. Actually, at this point, he never has. It's kind of weird because we block his calling range, but I don't like checking three times. I just don't think he's the type of player that's going to, uh, how do I say this, bluff if we check. That aggressively, yeah. Right. Yeah, so I was right, he just has this queen pure, but we bingoed him. I didn't do the math, but you know what, you guys in the video, like you would have think like, oh, that's an overfold, he might not have his queen. So I'm gonna toss it. Here, this might not even be a pure squeeze, but definitely folding to a four, but I'm gonna fold here. I am, it's actually insane. Has anyone, have you ever seen anyone run this good? Like, I swear to God, the first take. I decided today I'm making a video, first take. I. It looks like I've been waiting two months to run good and post a video. Like, this is insane. I'm trying not to think about it because I'm recording, but this is ridiculous. Um, Yeah, I just bingo. It's not even like, a, it's not even a jack. Like, it's like, where it's a sweat. Oh, does he have king? I just bingo the stone nuts. All right, here we are with kings getting through that. Um, here on this board, he flats. I mean, you could play a small size, but I think in theory you could play bigger. I mean, the a he does have is just bad. He never has ace jack here. So why play nittier? Like, why play... I'll just play b75. I think it's fine. I don't see the point in range betting to attack his, like, smaller pairs. When, like... This is weird, eh? I think we just let it go. Like, obviously, we're doing this to get us to fold, but... It's really close. I mean, you want some back doors. I mean, the ace not be the ace being the club is tempting for me. Because we can make the nuts, but... I'll fold it. A, because I think I gave off a timing tell a little bit. Okay, if I took longer than three, but I'm like, oh my god, there is no way that wouldn't look the whaliest shit ever. I probably shouldn't say that <laughs> on video. If anyone, wa if he's watching my videos, you might. I'm not gonna be too nitty about that. Like, I'll still, I'll still, I'll still tell you guys what I think, but I'm not gonna be paranoid. Like, I post these for a reason. I, I, I realize I'm sacrificing probably some EV. Uh, here, it's probably close. I don't mind necessarily small with this hand, so I'm gonna do it. I would say generally versus fish, it's okay to check middling hands, but I think here, like, there's still so many hands that have equity versus us, and our hand performs very well on runouts. I mean, it's just like, I'd rather just get these, like, bullshit queen jack off that he might be sending or something out of here. On a 17, I'm going to call. I just played my full orbit. This isn't a grimmer. I just played my orbit. I'm kind of a little... I stopped trying to battle heads up as much, so now I'm more conscious about it. Uh, here, I think you're just supposed to be 20 very high frequency. I rolled a 78, so I just can't imagine this hand doesn't. I'm expecting a check raise a decent amount. Okay. Yeah, the question is half pot or check jam. I think half pot's good. And uh hope he doesn't have sixes or sevens. I mean, I think that he would take this line of sixes or sevens. But uh yeah. Sucks had the queen of spades here. Could consider overbetting here. Kind of sucks because yeah, I kind of wanted him to have East Jack, not going to lie. Bad beat jackpot. <laughs> did he fold? I didn't even see what happened. I think he did, right? Kind of crazy note. I, I, I don't even know what's going on. I just like, I have Ace Queen on a board and uh, I just bingo. I don't even have to bluff. Yeah, a lot of people are playing the smaller side as being that I have to study more verse. I don't know if I should uh, really want a YouTube video to attack a brother. Probably will if I want to. Figured out. On an 88, though, I will just take this. Oh. I got an 18. I don't know if that's correct. Seems fine. Here, half pot high frequency is just to play. And the Queen of Diamonds is a really bad card. The Ace of Hearts is also a very bad card. 
mean, it's not so bad because it turns a jack. It's like the one silver lining here. I rolled a 15. Oh, I kind of want speed, but I kind of feel like he has aces. It's kind of like a... If I'm not taking this, then what am I taking? I think half lots preferred sizing here. Ah, shoving, shoving high frequency is probably okay as well. I'm going to check it. And I'm all in. Well played. I feel like I get called here to get him out, but obviously I'm taking this. I don't know. Okay, so Ace King of Hearts for sure plays this way, but I kind of I kind of get insecure. I feel like I'm more figured out than I am. I feel like for me, I'm just gonna be too weighted to bluffs here. You definitely go thin though. You take all the over You don't check them. I'm trying to think what the bottom of my checking range is be. Like, obviously it's a mixed stuff. I don't think you ever check a flush, though. Maybe, like, because you need to bluff these hands. I think a checking range is just... I don't know. I gotta look at this now. Maybe I'm too nitty on the turn. Maybe I should just throw it in. But it just feels bad, because he's definitely folding ace of hearts. Like, is he calling ace five of hearts? Is he supposed to call this? I don't know. We'd rather shove ace queen almost no heart, right? Like... You never have ace queen of spades because you never three bet, but you'd rather have just bad suit. And you're basically range betting flop. So it's like, in theory, like, let's say in another type of node, like, you're going to have the ace of hearts more often because it's more likely to bet flop. But here, I think you just range bet half flop. You don't you don't think about it. So then you're just basically evaluating your hand on the turn. You're not thinking, I'm going to have this hand more often. I mean, this is pretty much half pot range. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not bottom versus cut off, so he actually has some good hands, but... Uh... Like he probably flats queens at a frequency, and like whereas like the other way basically never has it. I mean, the other way you have to have aces is your trap, right? Just to keep everything in check, because you don't have aces, your best over pair is like fucking tens, and you can just get. It's just yeah. I don't know. It's just hard for me to see. Like, I mean, yeah, I guess he's like I don't know. I mean, if he starts exploiting me, it's really easy for me to adjust, right? I just want to look at the node properly, because I'm kind of, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, like, I guess that's how I criticize myself. I'm just, I'm just thinking about, like, damn, I'm not, I'm not balancing this node at all. Like, I'm gonna, I think I'm just in practice the way I am. I'm not, I, I just don't know what to do with the turn here. I'm pretty confident the flop's played like this, but, yeah. We don't have ace queen pure, though, nowhere near it, so. And only four combos of ace king off. With an ace of hearts. It is an appealing turn take, I'm not gonna lie, but. It's kind of weird, like, that's that type of spot. I mean, you're like, ace quick has, like, it's pair draw equity. You just cannot, you can't, you have too many good hands. Like, you have too much aces and kings in this bullshit. To, uh. Yeah. I mean, you have aces and kings in the check line. Like, with the ace of hearts. I mean, it's pretty easy to have value. It's not like you're repping a flush when you jam. Because anything that beat aces is calling. Right? Like, the SPR is too low. Like, if you beat aces, you call. It's not even, like, a question. So. It's not like you need traps much worse than that. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. This might not be my best video, but hey. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to be better from here. Let me know what you guys would like to, to see as usual. I'm pretty open to criticism. I'm like pretty self-aware that I have nowhere near the best. I do it for fun, but I don't know. I think a lot of people like to watch my videos. I kind of felt bad that I couldn't post for a while. On a 96, we're going to open this. And also, like, I think I'm too critical about how good my videos are, which is probably warranted, but also I'm sure some people would rather me just post more often. So it goes back and forth. I'm going to obviously fold the jack six here. Yeah, I'm excited to study that one. I'd say my four bit pots I've not been looking at enough. I've just been basically studying three handed poker only because that's like the most common spots, the most important things to study are three handed poker. And also, especially like low low board four bit pots, it's like very that very rarely happens. 
Granted, you just need to look at it once, so you can pretty much get it down forever, but... The odds of the board come seven high. I'm pretty low. Okay, here. Spot I also don't know. Double bad suit. Soon to block. I don't know. Let's play over about. I over bluffed the spot. I'll be over aggressive in it too. I think it's fine. I think it's hard for what he's taking this note for to fold the seven. I don't like slow play. It just looks too nutted. Like, am I really gonna check? I don't know. I'll look at that one in theory, but. Like I, I, d I definitely need to look at that, like the, the connected boards when they check back and the, the straight card comes in, where you have an advantage of. I'd say it's not common, but it's happened twice this video, so I clearly have not as studied on it as I wish I was. Here on these boards, you can be more aggressive. The question is four, is, does four want to be aggressive? I don't think he's folding better. I mean, get, defending my equity is kind of important multi-way. Like maybe I'm thinking too much of a heads-up point of view. I'll fold it, especially when I take too long. I mean, it's kind of a tell. Like if I have aces, am I really going to time bank? I don't know. Granted, you could like easily level people by saying that, but I don't know. I'll call here once. This one is so weird. Because maybe I'm too myself. It's just so hard to rep a flush. <laughs> like, I checked a flush draw on this board. I don't know. Especially like a non ace high one. Like, what am I really repping? Like, I don't know. In the sense, I think I'm pretty self-aware that, like, some nodes, I'm just not going to play, like, a computer like this one. Um, yeah. Especially multi with the fish in the middle. Like, I don't know. Like, am I really checking 7-6 of hearts and then 7s? Oh, my. Like, wait. What? <laughs> He must have just thought he was in the other position. There is no fucking way. Here. I'm blocking all the other flushes I probably call. Uh, I don't want to take. I mean, maybe a 6 ace 5 You have enough takes. You need some checkbacks. I mean... Maybe I, just, maybe I just shove. I don't know. If he rips it, I fold. He never bluffs the spot. Actually, you know what? I think, like... Let me look at it in theory. I think that, like, as an exploit, though, like, when you... Oh, I shouldn't talk about this shit. But anyway, you know what? Pro tip. Okay, if you think, like... For example, part of the... the you're supposed to play, like... If you play a shoving range here, right? But let's say you lo lower it, right? Because you, you are beat there sometimes. But you know, like... Your opponent is never bluffing when he jams on you, you actually kind of get some EV by sizing down, right? Is it some gained EV? Like, you, like there's a certain node that if it takes this place, you'll have 100% win rate exploit. Like, you just know for sure he's not bluffing. I think here you're just going to raise aggressively. <sighs> here you got to find a lot of bluffs here. The 9 is kind of bad, though, because he's going to have, like, for example, versus the block bet, like, he'll float maybe these hands, like, 10-9, Ace-9, Jack-9. Those are his turning folds. That's his turn folding range, a good amount of it, and I think having a 9 is kind of bad, so I'm going to check it. Never mind, I fucking love having a 9. We're worried about getting jammed here, because I think it's realistic he has a set calls and checks twice, but... Yeah, I think here, your, your range betting flop, right? Like, that's a given. So you just look at your turn hand, turn cards. It's not like, oh, like, I like having the back door. It's like, that's gone out the window, right? Um, here, I'm just going to toss it. I kind of... I think he's just... His, his, his in the line makes sense. Technically, I rep a river jam well. I blocked a nine. That's the hand I'm repping. When I jam here, I'm repping pocket nines. So you can just take these random 9x hands and probably roll and then shove. I don't mind it. I mean, in theory, you could go queen nine pure or some shit, but I don't know. Like, a queen on wouldn't be pure, but if you want to simplify it for yourself. <clears throat> I'll believe him. I don't know. 14, I'm going to call. You could click it a little bit here sometimes. I think opponent has to build checks here this deep. I think we're actually going to get in here on a 75. It makes sense. Like, a lot of my flush want to play this line. It's hard for him to jam over the top. And if you, let's say you take a hand like ace-5, oh my god. 
let's say you take a hand like ace five here, right? Ace five spades or something. You, like he has to start playing three bets in this spot. And a lot of times people are under reluctant to start three betting flop in nodes like this, where you kind of just have to have a rage, or I'm just gonna always get to see a river, right? A fruit. Like I'm potentially bluffing in the flop here with like jack ten. And then let's say you call and I'm like, oh, he probably has a queen. I can just check back and see if I cooler you. <clears throat> so it's kind of one of these spots where raising in position does have value if you're studying in it. And you kind of, like you can make the exploit of knowing your opponent's not. Like you have a, sometimes you're playing a guessing game, but if you have a good read on it, it can make a lot of money. Because if you don't play, if, if people stop playing uh, out of position three bets on the flop versus you, you can just realize so much equity for like what I'm, I was going to call for seven. I make it 19. If he's never ripping over the top, I'm just shitting on him. Right? <coughs> Sorry about that. Cause it's one of those things. Like, even if he's like, Oh, I have ace queen. I'm going to slow play and he's going to punt and I have ace five of spades. I just, okay. I like, let's say I know he's in it. Okay, cool. Um, I brick turn. I check back. If I hit a spade, I win the hand. If I don't, I don't, you know, so that's why that's why three winning the flop is an important thing. That's why that's why that's why it's kind of worth it. It's worth to learn both nodes, especially in a board where like I have a pretty decent queen high advantage due to like the density of my range around the queen. Funny part is, is like I actually think people have less queen highs than they should because you're supposed to be taking hands like queen jack suited and queen ten suited, um, and ditch them around the. I guess just Fisher a bit, <clears throat> and ditch them when you like first EP, but you start ditching them closer. You you start you start up here calling them basically first button and a small blind. <laughs> I'm in cutoff. But they just become more comfortable for uh, three-bit folds, whereas like or, versus EP, there's not or versus uh, like late position. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm gonna call this here on 20. <coughs> Apologize for the coughing. Mm, just gonna talk. Uh, so close. I feel like the reason I'm tempted. Also, the nine. I'm gonna call. You guys are gonna judge me, but. I would just say this note. Huh, I shouldn't talk about this shit. I should just play strictly a theory. But I do think this note is overfolded on the turn. And also we have the backtrack. It might be a call in theory. I mean, he's betting so small. We have to call a lot. And the ace over the queen is pretty important. You have to give a good amount of ace or you're going to start getting killed, right? You can't just pick all your ace of clubs because what if it comes off the... Yeah. <coughs> we have a lot of equity. Getting shot on kind of sucks. Whatever. I just don't think it's realistic for you to just barrel zero equity hands here, so <laughs> you're gonna get shoved on and it's gonna kinda suck with some hands. Also it's hard for him to just rip that light. Like if he has king queen, is he thrilled about ripping? I don't know. You know what I mean? He might get bluffed off the hand, so having Yeah, but I don't know. <clears throat> I apologize for the coughing. I'm coughing all day and I'm just I have a dry cough. How long am I recording for? 33 minutes. I'll make sure to review these hands in the description. I have time today, so I'll do it. Also, I can't promise this month or the next one. <laughs> I guess I don't know why I'm talking about it. But I will plan on posting graphs each month. I'll probably some point next year. i got to fix my poker tracker. It's just, like, doesn't work properly. And, like, I just play on GG most of the time recently on Ontario. Okay, no spade kind of sucks. Club's okay. Ten. I would say, actually, I think this is, like, like having the 10 here is really bad. Like, I think... 10 is not really a fold, but King 10 or King Ja. Ah. I guess if 10 is not a fold, it's not that bad. I don't know. I'm checking. Wait, we just rivered a boat. And here it's just this. Um. Yeah. I'm not thinking about theory here because I don't know. It's a good call by him, I guess. Is it call something? And just because he has to call something doesn't mean they're both bad, right? I mean, if anything, it's printing money. I mean, he has a nine sometimes, he has a six sometimes. I don't know why. I went for the over bet. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of blanked out that hand. It's kind of bad. 
probably should be more focused. This recording thing is being a, it's a little bit of a challenge, but. Okay, let's take a look at this now. So, it's one third, one third, check, check. I mean, I don't mind block. <coughs> you can even block 8x for value, right? <coughs> Fuck, the coughing suck. I hope it's not too bad in the video. But yeah, sorry about that. I don't know why. I'll probably record five more minutes. Rewatch this cringe of myself and just decide to upload because I haven't posted in a while. Yeah, I made a lot of money. There's worse things to post. I look like such a reg. But yeah. I hope I explain some things. I hope, I hope I teach you guys some things. Whether it's just my opinion or not. I, I, I do like to think that I do talk about some things that aren't talked about that much. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just bi <laughs> biased. I would say I'm not the best content creator, but yeah, I do my best. I don't think King Hit 9 ever does anything. You gotta be careful. When you play versus a 2.5, you gotta start being a lot tighter. And generally, if you're asking yourself, is this a defender or is it a fold, and it's not suited, just toss it. <laughs> That's my advice. You're probably making a better read than if you're the other way around. If you're on that side of the camp. Last time I had Ace Queen off, he did not see what I had though. So, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, you saw me with a hand, I'll click him with a good one. <laughs> For all the live poker players out there. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if this, uh, I wonder how much the videos can hurt my EV. Probably not too much, because I like recording them. It's just like, dude, I went on a while, a while, like, where I was like, granted, I couldn't post anyway, I was lagging. I was like, kind of trying to post though. I recorded a couple times, it was so laggy, and it was just like, I was getting frustrated too. I was like, okay. So I was like, okay, I'm taking a break. Um, the size up here, I'm just gonna fold. It's like one big one, maybe. I, <coughs> granted, the board, like, the one big one could be a lot of value though. It's not like a board where one big one doesn't rep anything. If it was one big one, I'd probably raise him though. That's a spot. Actually, you know what? I'm kind of FOMOing. <laughs> I'm FOMOing the raise. I think I missed EV here. Maybe not though. B75 is pretty strong. That's like some people. That's some fish's autopilot button. That's their autopilot value button. Oh my god! I said I was gonna turn the HUD off, and then I had it on. Whatever. It's one table. You're all regs. You have a problem with me exposing your three bet stat? Get better at the game. And you know what? Maybe I have what's coming out. If someone wants to post my 3-bet stat on the line, go ahead. You know what? I asked for it. I deserve it. But, eh. I'm not re-recording this. I got too lucky to do this again. <sighs> this is my 400th time attempt. I was trying to see how much money I could make in the, a 40-minute time, and this is my current record. So, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just sun running. Every bluff gets through. Every, they're coolering everyone. Okay, so I am not buttoning this guy, so I will sit on next blind. 72. All right, three bet it. He's going 2.2. I still got 10 though. I mean, at some point you could probably go nine and a half. I always play 10 because I'm studying at 10, so I study when the pot's so many bigs, so I study it. I feel like that makes sense. I kind of, I kind of have the same approach to six max. If I'm making a slight preflop error, because let's say. Oh, like uh, this guy. This guy's going this, so I three bet to this size instead. Or you know what I'm saying? Like that's true. But if you're studying an SBR of this, it's probably better you just know that SBR. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that. As opposed to like, like this guy's going five pointer. I'm going to 18. So it's kind of it kind of fucks with it a bit. You know, I'm trying to bait like, I just go really big and just three bet a little less. Like I don't know. Probably not. I, I don't mind going to 18 because 18 is what it, it's uh, it's basically 18. 18 is the correct size, so it's not even that bad. Let's say, like, I don't know. There's got to be some... There's a better example than this. I'm sorry, I can't find it right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's the point. Study that SBR. Is, so I, I, if I'm going to lean one way, I prefer to lean on just playing closer to the actual size I use in game. Here, the, the jack's going to be a lot of his calling range is the issue. I, I'd rather just go with a double check than a block, though. I don't mind just be, one, be like, 250 or something stupid, but... I don't know. Because he, he, he is really weak in this checking line. Okay... I'll just go this. I don't know. This just looks... 
when you snap do it, it looks like, oh, I just have, I look down at 7, 8, and I hit B75. Technically, I should be going bigger here. I just think my opponent's really capped. I could also trap. I just don't think he has anything. I think he has ace high. And I think he knows I have, he has ace high, and I don't think he cares to adjust his game. I think he's playing a lot of tables, too. Um, yeah, that's my read on basically if anyone was in that node. Because just, just due to the fact that, okay, I have infinite bluffs here, so what do I want to bet for value? How capped is he? And it's basically the two things that matter. How often you want to bluff and how capped your opponent is, how big of a range of nut advantage, technically, you have over your opponent can decide your sizing, right? Because if you can pick infinite bluffs, okay, then go ahead. Like, as long as you have enough bluffs now, you can determine your sizing and then... Here, it's like, obviously, I could technically, like, if I have, like, king, queen 10, like, this guy never has better than queen 10. He's not checking back enough. In theory, maybe, but in reality, no. So, I could technically just start jamming 300% in his face with, like, technically insolver world, but. In reality there, I'm, I, I'm, I went for the, I want to get called by ace high, so I'm going to snap at 75, because it's going to look like I looked down at 9-7 suited. And I was, like, autopiloting, I was like, oh, fuck, bluff. Anyway, I don't know what I'm yapping about, but <laughs> it makes sense in my head. Maybe like trying to put it into words makes no sense. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you everyone for watching and listening to me ramble for a bit, but yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.